Tuesday at the RBC Canadian Open. Bob Weeks along with Jason Logan for scoregolf.com and tsn.ca. Uh, Jason, a lot of issues to talk about here coming into the uh, the tournament. And one of the biggest ones, one of the best news uh, that we can provide, I think, for, for viewers is 23 Canadians in the field. You had a chance to talk to some of them today. Some of them are bigger names, obviously, Mike Weir, Stephen Ames, Graham Dillette, and David Hearn, but uh, some, some other people who are just sort of bubbling under. Tell us about oh, a few yeah. of them. A mix of guys. Normally, we're in the high teens for the number of Canadians in the field. This year, we're up to 23, thanks to some withdrawals and some guys getting in, some sponsor exemptions, but I spoke to Nick. Nick Taylor, who uh, yesterday at the qualifier, he hit one tee shot, got pulled off the course and said, you don't need to play the qualifier anymore. You're in the tournament. So he talked about that. He was quite ecstatic about that. Uh, Yu Jing Wang, a young guy, he just turned pro. So he's playing not in his first RBC Canadian Open, but in his first PJ Tour event as a pro. Uh, Victor Tuchelski, fans might remember him from 2006, a local guy, grew up in the Cambridge area, made the cut here in 2006, had the hole in one, was a big story. He's back. And then, of course, you've got guys guys like Weir and Dillette and Hearn and Brad Fritch and a lot of Canadian flavor this year. And as good as those Canadian players are playing, it's also got to be uh, satisfying for RBC to have the guy who's playing better than anyone right now. At least he was last week in Ernie Els, the reigning Open champion in the field. Well, yeah, and I think there was maybe just a wee bit of angst after Ernie won the Open championship last week. Um, but he's here. Uh, he's committed to playing. He, uh, it's a class act really by him to, you know, we know that Ernie likes to enjoy himself, but uh, he's going to enjoy himself here in Canada this week. Uh, I hope he plays well. I think everyone here hopes that he plays well and he's around on the weekend, but just have him here I think is a big boost for the field. Uh, this golf course has uh, was draw, drew rave reviews first two times around, uh, at least first two recent two times around. Uh, it's setting up like it's going to look very good already, although the weather is going to be an issue here, probably soften things up. What are you hearing from the players when you talk to them about the course? Everybody loves this golf course. They like that you don't just bomb it off the tee. You have to be creative and you have to think your way. You have to hit some hybrids off the tee, some long irons. You have to take on some shots, some angles and such. As for the course conditions itself, some of the guys are telling me it's soft, which is not surprising. We've had some rain here in this area recently. Recently, the greens are going to be soft. I talked to Graham Dillette, and he said in the pro am he made six or seven birdies without really even aiming at flags. So uh, I think the scoring, at least for the first couple of days, might be low. Uh, we're hoping to get some drier conditions on the weekend so that Hamilton shows its teeth. All right, well, you can join us here every day on scoregolf.com and tsn.ca. We'll have all the updates. Jason Logan, Bob Weeks, that's it for now. Look for us all week long here at the RBC Canadian Open.